김재우의 영어회화 배 Day 1 전치사 4를 이용해 취향 표현하기 Working from home isn't for me. Model examples 1. Working from home isn't for me. I always get distracted. 2. Going on blind dates isn't for me. 3. Laptops aren't really for me. Something about the keyboards is super uncomfortable. 4. Electric cars aren't for me. We have more charging stations around now, but it still feels like too much of a hassle. 5. I know he has a decent job, but guys like him aren't really for me. Small talk. 1. Why don't we go out and get some nice sashimi? My treat. It's kind of you to offer, but raw fish just isn't for me. I can't get used to the texture. 2. I recommend watching Stranger Things to practice listening. It's a good idea, but American shows aren't for me. I can't really get into the stories. 3. You're really great around kids. Have you ever thought of being a teacher? No, no. Teaching isn't really for me. I like to play with them, but trying to make them study seems like hard work. Cases in point Hey, Greg. Do you remember that rowing machine I got for my birthday? Are you interested in it? Turns out it's not really for me. Day 2 동사 웨이트를 이용해 기대감 표현하기 I can't wait to move into the new house. Model examples 1. I can't wait to see what the next episode will bring. 2. I can't wait to see the look on my wife's face when she opens my gift. 3. I can't wait to be done with this project. It's taking forever. 4. That dinner smells delicious, honey. I can't wait. 5. Baby Driver was released months ago in the United States. I can't wait for it to come out here. Small Talk 1. Did you hear they finally made that book into a movie? Yes, I can't wait to see it. I hope they included all my favorite scenes. 2. How's that project going? It seems like you've been working on it for a while. Yeah, I've been working on it all week. I can't wait to finish it and finally move on to something else. 3. I didn't know you could knit. What are you making? I'm making a scarf for my little sister. I can't wait to see the look on her face when she realizes I made this for her. Cases in point. I can't wait to get a glimpse of the new grandeur. I actually have a friend who spotted one on the Ilsan freeway, but he couldn't really see any details. Kanda uses these car camouflage wraps. They make spy shots useless, and it's really frustrating. Day 3. 동사 마인드를 이용해 조심스럽게 양해 구하기. Do you mind keeping it a bit short? Model examples 1. Do you mind if I finish off the last piece of pizza? 2. Do you mind grabbing me some coffee on your way? 3. I've got only five minutes to spare. Do you mind keeping it short? 4. Do you mind turning down the air conditioning? 
I feel a bit cold. 5. Do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Small talk. 1. Do you mind if we move the meeting to Friday? Sure. Friday works better for us, actually. 2. Excuse me, do you mind grabbing me one of those cereal boxes on the top shelf? Sure. Always happy to help. 3. Where would you like to meet? I don't mind coming over to your office. Cases in point. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. I always look forward to our 2 p.m. Tuesday conference call. However, this week, I'm afraid I have another meeting scheduled for 1.30, and I'm not sure if it will be over in time. If you don't mind, could we start at 2.30 this time just to be safe? Day 4 부사 스퍼를 이용해 강조 표현하기 Everything is getting super expensive. Model examples 1. She is super tall. 2. Either he has been super busy or he is losing interest in me. 3. I've been super busy with my upcoming move. 4. Wow, you're in super good shape for an old guy. 5. All the neighborhoods in Seoul are super expensive, but Huamdong is relatively cheap. Small talk. 1. I never thought I'd have to pay over 10,000 won for lunch. Yeah, everything is getting super expensive. 2. Want me to get you a souvenir from Jeju? Oh, how about a box of tangerines? They should be super cheap since they're in season. 3. It's unusually warm for late November. It's usually much colder by now. Right. Autumn has been getting shorter, but this year it's been super long. Cases in point. I'm normally really bad at following instructions, but this bed frame was super easy to put together. It took me less than an hour. I didn't need any extra tools besides the included hex key. It looks sturdy too. The furniture from IKEA has a reputation for breaking easily, but this bed frame surprised me. Day 5 동사 피를 이용해 감정이나 생각 물어보기 How do you feel about buying something second-hand, like a used car? Model examples 1. How do you feel about signing up for a matchmaking service? 2. How do you feel about going to church? 3. How do you feel about joining a hiking club? 4. How do you feel about plastic surgery? Small talk. 1. How do you feel about joining a team when the coach is your ex-teammate? I don't mind at all. I totally believe he has what it takes to be a good coach. 2. After dinner, I was thinking we could go to my place and watch The Conjuring. How do you feel about horror movies? No, I can't stand horror movies. Watching something scary isn't my idea of fun. Cases in point. Dear Greg Cho, this is Harold over in accounting. I'm writing because your manager, Frank, contacted me and asked me to move to your team. How do you feel about working under Frank? I want to hear about your experience before I really consider his transfer offer. Day 6 모든 것중 최고라고 강조하기 
There is nothing like camping to recharge your batteries. Model examples 1. There's nothing like a nice meal with friends to turn a bad week around. 2. There's nothing like binging a show on Netflix all weekend. 3. There's nothing like a turkey dinner and spiced wine for Christmas. 4. I'm so glad we can go to concerts again. There's nothing like seeing your favorite band live. 5. There's nothing like real maple syrup on pancakes. Small talk. 1. There's nothing like a cold beer after a long day of work. How about we go grab one when we get off? Sure, as long as you're buying. 2. Sorry if I seem a little depressed. My boyfriend and I decided to take a little break. I really miss him. Aw, I'm sorry. Come on, let's go shopping. I know you. There's nothing like buying clothes to cheer you up. 3. I can't wait to get home. My husband said he would cook me something special. Oh, that's perfect then. There's nothing like a home-cooked meal to lift your spirits after a long day. Cases in point. Come to a Bonnie Friend store and try out our new line of Pro Massage X7 chairs. Even if you have a professional masseur come to your house three times a week, you'll have to admit there's nothing like a massage from one of our chairs. Day 7 업다운을 이용해 제안에 동의하기 I am up for anything, as long as it's not too spicy. Model examples 1. I'm up for anything with a Michelin star. 2. What do you feel like doing? I'd be up for just about anything. 3. I'm looking for a beer pong partner. Are you down? 4. I've been craving fried chicken. Is anyone down for some tonight? 5. I was thinking of hiking Bukan Mountain on Saturday morning and I need a buddy. Do you think you'd be down? Small talk. 1. What do you want to have tonight? I am up for anything as long as it's not too spicy. 2. Hey guys, anyone want to go with me to try Gordon Ramsay's burger place? I'm down, as long as you're paying. 3. Guys, I was thinking about having people over for a game night. Who's in? Well, I have plans later, but I am down for saying hello at least. Cases in point. Are you down for the adventure of a lifetime? Choose Nepal Adventures for your Everest climb. We have a special offer for new customers available only this month. The first 50 hikers who sign up will receive free travel insurance. Act now before someone else takes your spot. Day 8 동사 피를 이용해 몸 상태 표현하기 I don't feel quite right today. Model examples 1. I wish I could come, but I don't feel quite right today. 2. I'm afraid I can't join you for dinner. I don't feel quite right today. 3. Honey I don't feel quite right today. Can you pick up Sujin from school? 4. I think I'll skip dinner. My stomach doesn't feel quite right today. 5. I don't think it's a good idea for me to come to your daughter's party. I don't feel quite right today. Small talk. 1. I'm not sure what it is. 
but I don't feel quite right today. Maybe there was something wrong with that soup you had for breakfast. It smelled a little funny. 2. Sam, are you still able to meet for lunch? Sorry, actually, I don't feel quite right today. I think I need to stay home. Can we take a rain check? 3. I know we're supposed to go out tonight, but I don't feel quite right today. Oh no, are you okay? How about we get takeout and rest at home with a movie instead? Cases in point. Hi, Brian. How are things going over there in the San Francisco office? I heard that you caught COVID last week, and so I wanted to check in and ask how you're doing. Actually, I wasn't feeling quite right myself yesterday. I got tested, and thankfully, it turned out negative. Day 9. 공손하게 제안하기 Would you like me to grab you some coffee while I'm at Starbucks? Model examples 1. Would you like me to read the first sentence? 2. Would you like me to get you some water while I'm up? 3. Would you like me to send you the revised version? 4. Do you want me to come along with you? 5. Do you want me to set you two up on a date? Small talk. 1. I'm walking from the station. Would you like me to pick up any coffee? That would be great. Thanks. 2. I'm not done yet. But would you like me to send you what I have so far? Thanks. So, when do you think you will be able to complete the materials? 3. I just landed at Incheon. By the way, I think I'll go by a duty free shop. Do you want me to get you or mom anything? Thanks for offering, sweetie. Cases in point. I just wanted to make sure the meeting is still on for Wednesday. And would you like me to arrange a room at the headquarters in Yongsan? I just found out that headquarters is all booked up. We'll have to change something, either the location or date. Day 10 생각이나 의견 묻거나 답하기 What price range do you have in mind? Model examples 1. Do you have any actor in mind for the lead role? 2. Do you have any good beef place in mind? 3. I don't really have any car in mind. I will go with pretty much anything as long as it's in good shape. 4. I have nothing particular in mind. 5. I'd like to make a suggestion unless you have something in mind. Small talk. 1. What price range do you have in mind? Anything under 100,000 won would be fine. 2. You will have to wait two years to get a Porsche. And that's only if you put down 5 million won as a deposit. It really doesn't matter. A Porsche is the only car I have in mind. 3. Where do you want to go for our summer vacation this year? I have a few places in mind. Are you okay taking a long flight? Cases in point. We have the following two places in mind as possible sites for the workshop. However, if you have any suggestions for places that would be more suitable, please let us know. We'll definitely take them into consideration. By the way, I heard that your HR manager, Ms. Cho, is no longer available to deliver the keynote speech. Does your team have anyone in mind to replace her?
Day 11. 생각이나 고민 말하기. I was thinking of going to translation grad school. Model examples. 1. I was thinking of traveling to Australia for the holiday. 2. Do you already have dinner plans? I was thinking of trying a pizza place that my coworker recommended. 3. I was thinking of Mongolia for my next trip, but I decided not to go there. 4. It's a little out of my price range. Besides, I was thinking of going with something more basic. Small talk. 1. Did I mention that I had a blind date last month? She is really my cup of tea. I was thinking of getting her a watch for her birthday. Isn't that a bit much? You are going to spoil her. 2. Honey, have you already started cooking? I was thinking of pizza for dinner. No, but we shouldn't have junk food again. You don't want me getting fat. 3. Do you have any plans for Saturday night? I was thinking of trying a new sushi place in Noan, and I need someone to go with me. Oh, sure. I was just planning on chilling at home. Getting sushi sounds more fun. Cases in point. I'm sorry for contacting you so late. We were going over the itinerary for our Korea trip the first week of January, And we were thinking of setting up a meeting with your vice president at headquarters. By any chance, is she available that Wednesday? Day 12 I wish I had that much money. Day 13 I wish I had that much money. Model examples 1. I wish I had your confidence. 2. I wish I could go with you, but I can't find the time. 3. I wish I could eat seafood. 4. I always wish I could spend more time with my family. 5. I wish I could take back what I said. Small talk. 1. Did you hear what Jessica is doing this week? She's going to two concerts and taking a trip to Japan. Wow, I wish I had time for that. It's so hard having a full-time job and there's never enough time to do things I really enjoy. 2. I am actually quite disappointed with this 2 million won chair. I wish I could take it back. You can always resell it on Dangun Market. 3. The weather is getting cold, and that always makes me look back on my youth. Do you have any regrets? Yeah, when I was younger, I wish I had waited a year before going to college. Cases in point I wish I could join the team on the trip over there, But I'm afraid I have too much on my plate at the moment. I will definitely come and visit your facilities next time. By the way, how is Mr. Holtz holding up? I heard that he came down with the flu. Day 13 동사 사운드를 이용해 생각이나 의견 묻기 How does 2.30 sound? Model examples 1. I don't feel like cooking. How does fried chicken sound? 2. I was thinking about having Indian food tonight. How does that sound? 3. If I can't take Monday off, maybe we could just vacation in Gyeonggi-do. How does that sound? 4. I thought maybe we could meet on Zoom next week. How does that sound? 5. I was thinking of closing the store next week for Christmas. How does that sound to you? 
Small talk. 1. I'm afraid we're out of clams, but the chef can cook a special mussel dish instead. How does that sound? That would be great. I actually prefer mussels. 2. The overnight flight is about $200 cheaper. How does that sound? Oh, I can't stand overnight flights. I'm not in my 20s or 30s anymore. 3. The hotel mixed up our reservation. They only have city view rooms left, but if we take one, they're willing to throw in a free dinner. How does that sound? That sounds nice. I don't care much about the view anyway. Cases in point. Hello, I'm interested in the TV you put up for sale on Dungan Market. I see you would like 300,000 won, but how does 250,000 won sound? I can come over and pick it up myself with my van. Day 14. 정확히 뭔지는 모르지만 무언가가 있다라고 말하기. There is something different about BTS. Model examples. 1. There was something weird about the interview. 2. There is something about this brand people are crazy about. 3. There is something about him that I am attracted to. 4. There is something about you, Jesuk, that puts people at ease. 5. There is something about the coach that brings out the best in players. Small talk. 1. I've been shopping around for a car, and there's something about Porsches that I can't resist. I can't believe you're thinking about spending so much money on a sports car. You should just save, invest, and retire early. 2. It looks like you're not used to devices with a touchscreen, right? Yes, there's just something about a real mouse and keyboard that makes me more comfortable. 3. There is something different about him. He is not like other guys I have met. Sure, but it was only one date. Give it more time before you become official. Cases in point. Guys just don't get it. They say our cars are overpriced or too small or impractical for long distances. There is something about Mini Coopers that women find irresistible. And besides obviously looking cute, our cars are fun to drive and also easier to park in cramped spaces. Day 15. 완료 여부에 대해 묻고 답하기. Are you done with your plate? Model examples. 1. Are you done with this squat rack? Is it all right if I use it? 2. I think I'm done with my sandwich. It's just way too big. 3. Are you done with the book I lent you? I'd like to have it back. 4. I'm done taking a look at your car. I'll tell you what you've got here. 5. Don't come in. I'm not done changing. Small talk. 1. Are you done with the computer? I need to check my work emails. I'm really into this game, though. Can't you just check them on your phone? 2. Are you done trying on clothes? I don't think anything here really suits you. Yeah, just about. Wait, look at this cute skirt. 3. Here are three forms we ask all new patients to fill out. Please let me know when you are done. All right. Oh, do you have a pen I could use? Cases in point. Please make sure to put away the weights when you're done. If you leave them out, 
Others can't find what they need. Violators will be warned the first time and then suspended for a week the second time. We appreciate your cooperation in making the gym a place everyone can enjoy. Day 16. 잘 어울린다고 말하기. This t-shirt looks good on you. Model examples. 1. This outfit looks good on you. 2. Turtlenecks never look good on me because my neck is too short. 3. Just because glasses are expensive, that doesn't mean they would look good on you. 4. When I first looked at this hat, I thought that would look good on my boyfriend. 5. How does she pull that off? Would it look good on me? Small talk. 1. Hi there. I'm looking for a new hat, and this one caught my eye. Is it on sale? No, sir. I'm afraid it isn't, but it looks very good on you. 2. Which fits me better, the gray cardigan or the blue one? They both look good on you. I say just go with whatever is cheaper. 3. How does this dress look? I've been told that my skin is too dark for pink stuff like this. Who told you that? You look great in pink. Cases in point. I appreciate your interest in my wool scarf. However, I looked at your profile picture and I'm afraid it probably wouldn't look good on you with your skin tone. I have another scarf that might suit you better. You can check it out in my post from June 15th. Day 17 동사 워크를 이용해 일정 논의하기 Does Tuesday work for you? Model examples 1. Tuesday works better for me, actually. 2. Does Wednesday work for you? 3. None of the dates you proposed work for us. 4. Any time after 1 would work for me. 5. Sunday doesn't work for me, but I am available all day Saturday. Small talk. 1. Hey, Mark. It's nice to hear from you. I'm down for dinner on Monday. What do you think? Ah, uh, I already have plans for Monday. Tuesday works better for me. Would that be all right? 2. Mr. Chue, I'm afraid I won't be able to attend our class on Sunday. Could we meet another day? I'm actually free every afternoon from Monday to Wednesday. What day works best for you? Cases in point Dear Mr. Johnson, We've looked over the proposed times for discussing contract renewal, and I'm afraid that none of the dates you suggested would work for us. Attached is a list of alternative dates we have put together. I hope that at least one of them is acceptable. Day 18. 화제 전환하기. Speaking of which, what happened with you and Nicole last night? Model examples. 1. Speaking of money, I owe you 100,000 won. 2. Speaking of the weather, this autumn was unusually warm, wasn't it? 3. Speaking of grocery shopping, did you hear that there's this new megastore near Shinchon Station? 4. Oh, speaking of Terry, how has she been? Has she found a new apartment? Small talk. 1. So, after explaining everything to the professor, he agreed to let me take the final a day late. 
I'm glad things worked out for you. By the way, speaking of scheduling, did you make a reservation at the Italian place for dinner tonight? 2. Did you see what Karen is wearing today? Is it really appropriate for the office? Right. It's a little too revealing. By the way, speaking of Karen, her birthday is coming up next Thursday. Cases in point. I can't make it to the movie. I have to work late. All right, we understand. Speaking of work, though, do you still work with that woman named Kate? I was just thinking that it would be nice to see her again, too. Day 19. I'm taking tomorrow off. Model examples. 1. I think you really need to take some time off from work. 2. John, do you mind if I take the afternoon off? I think I'm getting a migraine. 3. You haven't even taken a single day off this year. 4. Shauna won't be here at the beginning of next week. She's taking three days off to recover after minor surgery. 5. The interview is all the way in Asan. I'll have to take the whole afternoon off. Small talk. 1. Ms. Hutchinson, I've had a bit of a cough since yesterday and a slight fever. I took an at-home COVID test, which turned out negative, but I was still thinking of taking tomorrow off. Hi, Steve. That will be fine. Thank you for letting me know in advance. 2. I think I'll need even more coffee. I can barely stay awake. I've been so busy taking care of the baby. That makes sense. Maybe you should take some time off. 3. I can take over a month of paid time off each year in my job. Wow! Does your company have any openings? Cases in point. Attention loyal customers. Harold's Cafe will be closed next week. We are taking some time off to deal with a family emergency. We apologize for the inconvenience. We plan to reopen on the 6th, but please keep an eye on our Instagram account. More updates will be posted there. Day 20 바쁜 상황 표현하기 I'm busy working on my dissertation. Model examples 1. I am busy getting ready for the workshop. 2. I've been busy with my studies. 3. I've been super busy with my upcoming move. 4. I am busy with all this admin work. 5. When I was in school, they would always keep us busy with homework, academies, and after-school activities. Small Talk 1. Daniel is always saying that he is tired. Well, that makes sense. He's so busy working on two books at the same time. 2. Hi, Samantha. I'm just checking in to see if you're doing okay. Good afternoon. I've actually been really busy working on arrangements for next month's workshop. 3. How are you, Julie? You know, you never texted me back. I'm sorry. I've just been so busy with work. Cases in point. Hi, Steve. How are you? I understand that you must be busy getting ready for the business trip. I just wanted to remind you, though, that you still haven't sent us the invoice that we requested on Friday. Could you please take care of it at your earliest convenience? Day 21 
동사 C를 이용해 반대 의사 표현하기. I don't see it that way. Model examples. 1. She thinks we're in a serious relationship, but I don't see it that way. 2. You said the cake is too sweet. I don't see it that way. 3. Many people believe real estate prices will keep falling, but I don't see it that way. 4. Some news agencies claim that Elon Musk is ruining Twitter, but I don't see it that way. 5. I think that's a great example, but the thing is, I don't think the publisher is going to see it that way. Small talk. 1. My parents always taught me that supporting the homeless just makes the problem worse. I don't really see it that way. Supporting them could change their lives for the better. 2. The birth rate in Korea is so low these days. I really think it's because people can't afford a proper house for a family. Without a good home, how could you raise kids? That's a good point, but I don't really see it that way. I think it's because the cost of educating kids is too expensive. Cases in point Some experts say we should move business online. They argue that renting physical office space, especially in expensive downtown areas, doesn't make any sense. I don't see it that way. There is something about working together in the same room that helps employees stay productive. Day 22 동사 어포드를 통해 금액에 대한 부담 표현하기 It was something I could barely afford. Model examples 1. I'm not sure if I can afford that car on my salary. 2. Let's go with a bigger TV. We can afford it. 3. We can't afford to eat out. 4. I just can't afford to live in Gangnam. 5. I'm afraid we can't afford your fees. Small talk. 1. I've wanted a Volkswagen Beetle my entire life. I thought I could get one now, but it looks like it's more than I can afford. Start saving and buy one in a few years. Or, if you really want it, pay for it in installments. It's your dream car. 2. I can't believe how much money you spend on clothes every month. Yeah, I can't really afford it. I'm deeply in debt. Cases in point Uniqlo is ubiquitous in Japan and has found success across the globe with its range of basic fashion items anyone can afford, like cashmere jumpers, button-down shirts, and lightweight down jackets. The chain opened its first Australian store in Melbourne in April 2014 and has expanded rapidly to now have 16 stores across all mainland states. Day 23 비싸다고 말하기 This is all out of my price range. Model examples 1. This is all out of my price range. Don't you have anything other 200,000 won? 2. Even the cheapest one was out of my price range. 3. I'm afraid the wooden table you recommended is way out of my price range. 4. Out-of-season fruit and vegetables are always out of my price range. 5. I checked out the Chevrolet dealership near my apartment, but they didn't have anything in my price range. 
Small talk. 1. I'm interested in this keyboard, but 300,001 is a bit out of my price range. Could you go any lower? How much lower were you thinking? 2. All of our selections are specially imported from Denmark. This one is 10 million won. Oh, that's way out of my price range. Do you have anything cheaper? 3. Before we get started looking at what's available, can I ask your price range? We wouldn't want to spend more than 300 million won. Cases in point. Thank you for your quote. What you're offering is a little out of our price range. Is there any way you can come down another 10%? I would appreciate your understanding. Day 24. 싸다고 말하기. You get what you pay for. Model examples. 1. The couch is falling apart after only a year. We got what we paid for. 2. I don't expect a quality fast food hamburger for less than 4,001, so it's okay. I get what I pay for. 3. I should have known it was too good to be true. You get what you pay for. 4. Just keep in mind, you get what you pay for. 5. This is what I get for 100 million won. Small talk. 1. I bought this hair dryer at a local market, and I thought I got a great deal, but actually, it broke the first time I used it. Well, you get what you pay for. If you want something good, you need to go somewhere else. 2. What a waste of 100,001. I knew it was too good to be true. You get what you pay for, I guess. 3. I got this oven for just 50,001, but it broke after just a month. Well, what were you expecting? You get what you pay for. Cases in point. If you compare our prices to our competitors, it is true that our chairs are up to 50% more expensive. Please keep in mind, you get what you pay for. Our chairs are guaranteed to last up to 10 years without needing repairs. Day 25. 다행이라는 의견 자연스럽게 전달하기. I'm glad you found a babysitter. Model examples. 1. I'm glad you liked it. 2. I'm glad you are enjoying it. 3. I'm glad your presentation went well this morning. 4. I'm glad I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. 5. I'm glad you can relate. Small talk. 1. Where did you get these cookies? They're great. We got a whole carton from my uncle who works for the company. I'm glad you like them. We're kind of sick of the taste. 2. Sorry I'm late. I finished my work as fast as I could. I'm glad you could make it. We just ordered. Take a seat. 3. My boyfriend and I had a long conversation about our feelings, and we finally made up. I'm glad things worked out in the end. You two are great together. Cases in point. I was in the market for a new office chair, and Herman Miller was recommended to me. When I saw a good-looking chair of theirs online, I didn't see how it could possibly be worth 2.4 million won. I went ahead and bought it anyway, and I'm glad I did. I can't believe how comfy it is.
Day 26. 부담 주지 않으면서 요청하기. Please feel free to contact me anytime between 9 and 6 on weekdays. Model examples. 1. Feel free to say no. 2. I heard you have your parents coming into Seoul this weekend. Feel free to take Friday off if you need to. 3. Can I get your opinion on my essay? Feel free to say no if you don't have the time. 4. Feel free to call my secretary to arrange a meeting. 5. Feel free to pick what you want and I'll pay for it. Small talk. 1. Feel free to say no, but I was just wondering if you'd like to come with me to the Jara Sum Jazz Festival. Um, I'm not sure. Can I get back to you tomorrow? 2. Hello, I saw your ad for the used shoes. I want to buy them, but I could use some time to come up with the money. Thank you for your interest. I'll put them aside for you. Feel free to let me know when you're ready to make the purchase. 3. I really appreciate you letting me stay the night. Not a problem. Feel free to use the shower and get comfortable. Cases in point. I'm emailing on behalf of our department head. He agrees with your business proposal and intends to move forward on the project. Let's set up a meeting for next Thursday, but in the meantime, feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns. We look forward to working with you. Day 27 시간에 대해 강조해서 말하기 Are you drinking coffee at this hour? Model examples 1. What are you doing up at this hour? 2. Who could possibly be knocking on our door at this hour? 3. This is my first time in a big city. It's amazing that we can still have food delivered at this hour. 4. I'd like to have it delivered by tomorrow. Is it possible at this hour? 5. Sorry to contact you at this hour. Small talk. 1. Sorry to bother you with a question at this hour. Not a problem. 2. I have to go to a parent-teacher conference this afternoon. Is that why you came here at this hour? 3. Why aren't there any cafes open at 7 a.m.? Don't people want coffee before going to work? Yeah, but you can just go to a convenience store for it. Cafes are places to meet friends or co-workers, and that's not very common at this hour. Cases in point I'm sorry to contact you at this hour. I was planning on picking up the table tomorrow, but it turns out I'm going to be busy. Is it possible to have it shipped? I'm willing to pay the necessary costs. If not, does next week work for you? Day 28 쓰임새가 You want to grab some breakfast? Model examples 1. Can you grab some flour on your way home? We just ran out. 2. I wanted to grab a coffee before heading back to work, but I don't think I can. Look at that line. 3. A couple of us are going to grab some drinks after the workshop. You down? 4. I'm at Subway. Want me to grab you a sandwich too while I'm here? 5. 
I want you to grab me some fish shaped pastries on your way home. Small talk. 1. Hey, Henry, you feel like grabbing a beer with us after work? I should really get home. Maybe next time. 2. You want to grab some breakfast? Nah, I just had a big bowl of cereal and I'm pretty stuffed. I am up for coffee, though. 3. Sorry, it looks like I'll be 30 minutes late. That late? Okay, I'll go buy Starbucks and grab a coffee. I'm glad I brought my ebook reader with me. Cases in point. After the museum tour, you will have about 45 minutes of free time before we move on to our next location. You can look around more on your own. There are also a couple of cafes near the entrance, so feel free to grab a coffee while you wait. Day 29. 적응 익숙함에 대해 말하기. I can't really get used to the smell. Model examples 1. I am not used to being around new people. 2. I am not really into fermented skate. I can't get used to how it smells. 3. I can't get used to working from home. I always get distracted. 4. It took me a while to get used to this Galaxy phone. 5. I can't get used to waking up early in the morning. Small talk. 1. You're going on vacation to Japan, right? Are you going to drive while you're there? No way. They drive on the other side of the road. I don't think I could get used to it. 2. I can't get used to the weather in Dubai. I've been here 11 years, and I'll just never get used to it. I totally get what you mean. 3. I just can't get used to how muggy it is in Yasu. I felt the same way when I first came here. Cases in point Apple computers have such a low market share in the Korean market. Consumers are so used to using Windows OS that they won't even consider making the switch. It's a problem that's going to be nearly impossible for us to overcome. Day 30. 무언무엇하고나서야비로소무언무엇하다라고말하기 I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Model examples 1. They don't open until 11. See you there at 11 20. I didn't get on a plane until I was 12. 3. I'm a big smoker now, but I didn't try my first cigarette until I was 25. 4. I didn't travel outside of Korea until I was 38. 5. I'm afraid I won't be able to get to the office until 9 30. Feel free to start the meeting without me. Small talk. 1. I need to head home. I can barely function if I don't get at least 6 hours of sleep. I'll be fine. I'm not leaving until I've memorized all of these formulas. 2. Wait, is this your first boyfriend? You're 25 years old. Yes, but I think waiting was the right choice. I didn't want to start a relationship until I was ready to commit. 3. Taxi base fares are going to rise, but not until next February. Oh, that's a relief. I don't have to worry about it for a while yet. Cases in point. 
Hey John, are you almost here? I just got to the movie theater and the movie starts in 15 minutes, but I don't want to go in until you arrive. I hope you're not far. I don't want to miss the beginning. Day 31. Shinku ubu A ezu piru piu natanegi. Think of it as a compliment. Model examples. 1. Samantha thinks of me as a nuisance. 2. I always buy my clients coffee because I think of it as an investment. 3. Even though we couldn't make it to the next round, I want you to think of this loss as an opportunity for growth. 4. Don't think of exercise as a chore. Think of it as part of your daily routine. 5. I'm sorry you have to quarantine. Just think of it as a chance to get caught up on video games and your favorite TV shows. Small talk. 1. I've had a crush on Dave for so long, but he just said he thinks of me as a sister. Still, think of that as a compliment. He cares about you even if he doesn't find you attractive. 2. Why don't you try packing your lunch? It's got to be cheaper than eating out every day. Eating out does cost more, but I think of it as a time saver. That's more important to me now. Cases in point. I know you were looking forward to that promotion, but honestly, this isn't such a bad thing. Think of it as recognition of your current value. The department considers you invaluable. Besides, if you got promoted, you'd have to come here to headquarters, and everyone knows it's more stressful working here. Don't let this get to you. Day 32. 상대에 대한 이해 표현하기 That explains why you have a southern accent. Model examples 1. That explains why you are always so energetic. 2. That explains why you are always late to work. 3. That explains why the design was changed at the last minute. 4. That explains why San Diego has such nice weather. 5. That explains why you couldn't make it to the team dinner last night. Small talk. 1. Your wife knows that you were holding hands with another woman in public. I heard she found out last weekend. Oh, that explains why she didn't answer my calls. 2. My upstairs neighbors were making noise all night. I think they had some friends over and were dancing. Oh, that explains it. You've got dark circles under your eyes. 3. I heard Sam went to high school with the boss's brother. Oh. That explains how he's gotten promoted so quickly. Cases in point. In the Korean market, BMW overtook Mercedes Benz in sales for the first time in four years. BMW has some cutting edge battery technology that really sets them apart. That explains why their market share has gone up 30%. They're finally starting to win back consumers after their battery fire recall. Day 33. 용건 및 목적 말하기. I just wanted to make sure we are still on for tonight. Model examples. 1. I just wanted to thank you for helping me pack my stuff before the move. 2. I just wanted to make sure we are still on for Friday. 
Three. I just wanted to check if you can still make it tonight. Four. I just wanted to let you know that your tire looks low. Five. Are you the owner of the blue Chevy Volt? I just wanted to ask if you could move your car. Small talk. One. My son is already turning 43 next January. You have a daughter, right? I just wanted to ask if you think she would be interested in meeting him. The thing is, she's in a committed relationship at the moment. She's been seeing the guy for almost a year. Two. John and I are finally getting married. I just wanted to know if you could make it. It would be so nice to see you on my special day. Congratulations! What great news! I wouldn't miss it for the world. Cases in point. Good afternoon. I'm emailing in regards to our scheduled meeting this Friday. My team leader has to go on a sudden business trip that day, so I just wanted to find out if it would be possible to push back the meeting until Monday. This way, the whole team could be present. Day 34. 기대 또는 고대하는 일 말하기. I look forward to hearing from you. Model examples. 1. I look forward to your feedback. 2. We look forward to hearing from you. 3. I am looking forward to getting the opportunity to work with you. 4. It's finally starting to cool down. I'm really looking forward to fall. 5. I look forward to seeing you in person. Small talk. 1. Your new car is being delivered next week, right? You must be so excited. Yeah, I'm looking forward to finally taking it for a spin. I can't wait. 2. Hey, Melinda, I'm looking forward to grabbing dinner with you this Wednesday. How about we go to a pork belly place in my neighborhood? Hi, Daniel. I'm excited too, but I'm afraid it doesn't work for me. I'm actually a vegan. Cases in point. Dear Steve, I hope you are doing okay. We've come to realize that your June payment is two months overdue. According to our records, this is the second time a payment of yours has not been received on time. We look forward to having this issue resolved. Regards, Jonathan Randall. Day 35. 기분이나 느낌, 자연스럽게 묻기. What is it like working as an analytical lead at Google? Model examples. 1. What is it like being a working mom? 2. What is it like to work as an English kindergarten teacher? 3. What is it like to work in such a high-pressure field? 4. What is it like to be a celebrity living in the spotlight? 5. I know what it's like to lose a loved one. Small talk. 1. We've been wanting a child for a while, but I can't believe it's finally happening. You have a little boy, don't you, Rachel? What was it like to have your first child? Weren't you scared? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, but it was all worth it. 2. It's a huge step to meet your birth parents. What was it like meeting them for the first time? It was a lot to process, but I'm glad I was able to do it. 3. I live in Asan. But I actually work in Guangzhou. 
I can only see my kids on weekends. Oh my gosh, are you okay with that? I can't imagine what it's like being away from your family for so long. Cases in point. Hi, Cindy. I heard you're having trouble getting over Brad. I know what it's like to be single again after a long relationship, but remember how badly he treated you. You can definitely find a decent guy soon. Day 36. 오형식 문형으로 부탁하거나 의뢰하기. I'd like to get this steak cooked a little more. Model examples. 1. Could I get this steak cooked a little more? It looks rare and I want it in medium. 2. I'd like to get these leftovers wrapped up. 3. Is there any place nearby where I can get my coat fixed? 4. Could I have maybe a centimeter more taken off the top? 5. I'd like to have my account and profile deleted. Small talk. 1. I need to get my computer fixed. Would you like me to fix it for you? 2. Is it possible to get this mole removed? I believe so, but I'm afraid we don't offer that procedure here. Let me refer you to another clinic. 3. I've been thinking about working out more. Do you know of any good gyms around here? I go to the place just around the corner. I actually need to have my membership renewed. Why don't we head over there now? Cases in point. We are expecting a shipment of lumber to be delivered next month. However, after examining our project status, we think it would be preferable to have the materials earlier. Would it be possible to have the items shipped by next week? We appreciate your hard work and support. Day 37 무엇을 할 것인지 물어보기 what are you up to tomorrow night? Model examples. 1. What are you up to after work today? 2. Guys, what are you up to this weekend? 3. Are you up to anything this Friday? I was thinking of going out for dinner. 4. Are you up to anything tonight? Do you want to catch a movie? 5. Maybe we could go out for dinner tomorrow if you're not already up to anything. Small talk. 1. Hey Jake, what are you up to now? If you're free, how about coming down to Emart with me? Sure, I've got nothing going on. 2. Hi Gabrielle. I haven't seen you come in for a while. What have you been up to? Hey, yeah. I've been away on summer vacation with my family. 3. Mr. Johnson, are you busy right now? If you're not up to anything important, I'd like to see you in my office. Okay, I can put this aside for a moment. See you in five minutes. Cases in point. What are you guys up to tonight? If anyone's down, I was thinking of heading to Guanghua Moon to watch the game. I know it's going to be cold, but I don't want to miss all the excitement. We might not ever have another chance like this. Day 38 Timing에 대해 말하기 You caught me just in time. Model examples. 1. I'm glad I could catch you before you went to bed. 2. Hi, Andy. You caught me on my way out. 
Please make it quick. 3. We're about to take off. You caught me just in time. 4. Alex, you caught me just before I got into the shower. What's up? 5. I was hoping to catch you before you left the office. Small talk. 1. I know I said I'd eat Chinese with you guys, but I'm feeling a bit sick. I don't think I should have any fried food. I'll try calling Susan. Maybe I can catch her before she places an order. 2. Good to see you, Cheryl. Come on in. Nick is out grabbing drinks for us at the convenience store. Oh, really? I'll see if I can catch him before he checks out. I'm on some medication today. 3. Greg, what rate should we charge that company for 10,000 units? Just a moment. I'll see if I can catch my boss before he leaves. Cases in point. I couldn't make it over there to babysit, and my phone was dead, so I had to ask a stranger for his phone. It was good timing. Fred said I caught him just in time because he would have been out the door just five minutes later. Day 39. Cafena 식당에서 쓸수 있는 표현. Is that for here or to go? Model examples. 1. Let's get these coffees to go. 2. You can't go and sit inside restaurants after 9 p.m., but it's still possible to get food to go. 3. I don't think we can eat dessert now. Could we get it to go? 4. People from construction sites often call in big to go orders around 11. 5. If you bring your own to go container, they always give you extra black bean noodles. Small talk. 1. I'll just have a coffee as well. But actually, I don't see anywhere we can sit in here. You're right. Let's get those coffees to go. 2. Can I get a hot Americano? Sure. Is that a large or a medium? And for here or to go? 3. I'd like to get these dumplings to go. I can do that for you, but I'd recommend against it. They're really only good when they are fresh. Cases in point. More and more businesses are saving on rent by switching to to-go only business models. By not offering dine-in service, they eliminate the need for indoor seating and decorations. Many restaurants report delivery and takeout orders account for 60-70% to 70% of their business anyway. Day 40 하울을 이용해 의견 묻기 How about we meet at Sungmyung Women's University Station? Model examples 1. How about we meet at 6 on Tuesday? 2. How about we grab lunch at that pizza place across the street? 3. How about turning it off and on again? 4. How about setting him up with Melinda? 5. How about we hold off on raising the prices? Small talk. 1. Ashley said she saw Johnny on a date with another girl. Hold on. How about we ask him about it before jumping to conclusions? 2. It seems like you've been doing nothing but work for months. How about you take some time off and recharge? I wish I could, but I have a deadline coming up. 3. Leasing will be pretty expensive. 
It looks like they only have brand new cars available. How about we just buy a cheap car then? I've seen some good deals on Peso. Cases in point. It's the beginning of September, so it is almost time for our usual end of summer clothing sale. I was thinking, however, that we could change the timing. How about we hold off on cutting prices until our competitor comes out with their new product line? That way, they won't steal as many of our customers. Day 41. 동사 get을 이용해 무언가를 가져다 주는 표현 말하기. I got you a coffee. Model examples. 1. Could you get me a glass of water while you're up? 2. Thanks for getting me such nice hand cream. You didn't have to. 3. I'm thinking about getting my students some skin lotion for Christmas. 4. What did you get your wife for her birthday? 5. Do you mind going out and getting us a taxi while I pay? Small talk. 1. Good morning. It's Children's Day, so I got the kids some snacks. Would you like some? Oh, wow. You're so thoughtful. I'll have a cookie. Thanks. 2. I really can't handle the winters here. Even in the classroom, I'm always freezing. Is it much warmer back home? Hold on. I'll get you a sweater from my office. 3. My girlfriend's birthday is coming up, and I'm not sure what to get her. Do you have any suggestions? Well, as long as it's thoughtful, I'm sure she'll love anything you get her. Cases in point. It was so kind of you to get me a bottle of wine while you were in Greece. You know how much I enjoy Greek wine. Now I feel like I have to get you something. Is there anything you want from America? Day 42. 정중하게 거절하기. I'm good. Model examples. 1. I'm good, thanks. 2. Would you like another piece of cake? No thanks, I'm totally good. 3. You need any more, Kelly? No thanks, I'm good. 4. I'm good with what I already have. 5. Do you want anything from the convenience store or are you good? Small talk. 1. Would you like anything else to eat or drink, sir? No thanks, I'm good. 2. I'm stopping by the store on my way home. Would you like anything? Oh, no thanks. I'm good. 3. I heard you're moving this weekend. My husband and I could come and help if you need it. Oh, thanks for the offer. My brother is already coming to help, so I think we're good. Cases in point. I'm finally on my way to the party. Sorry for running late. What do you guys need? Drinks? Snacks? I don't want to come empty-handed. I actually think we're good for now. The guys who are already here brought more than enough. If we need something else later, it can be your treat, though. Day 43 여러모로 쓸모가 많은 피겨 아웃 활용하기 You figured that out right away. Model examples. 1. I can't figure out how to fix my AC. I need to call a technician. 2. Bring your homework over here. We can figure it out together. 
3. Seoul's subway system might be a bit hard for foreigners to figure out. 4. I've been out of work for five months now. I can't figure out what to do next. 5. I've gone through my whole closet and I still can't figure out what to wear. Small talk. 1. Um, hello. I'm sorry, can you help me? I'm on my way to see my daughter at Korea University, but I can't figure out how to get over there. Oh, sure, I can help. It's not too hard. Here, if you download a subway app, you'll be able to figure it out easily. 2. You still haven't figured out how to put together the desk? I don't like all this mess. No, I might need to call the store for help. Cases in point. I'm sorry for the continued delay, but our machines have been malfunctioning and so we are currently unable to complete orders. We're trying to figure out what exactly went wrong. It is likely a mechanical issue and a part that needs replacing. Once this problem is resolved, we'll be able to fulfill your order right away. Day 44. 동사 유지를 이용해 넌지시 필요성 말하기. I could really use a cup of coffee. Model examples. 1. I could use your help moving this desk. 2. You look like you could really use some time off. 3. We could use a better marketing strategy. 4. Sorry, I'm $50 short on rent and could use some help. 5. I hardly slept last night. I could really use a coffee. Small talk. 1. You're still studying? It's been hours. Have you been working this whole time? Yeah, I have. I could really use a break, honestly. Are you down for some coffee? 2. Do you know any Japanese tutors, Daniel? I feel like my Japanese could use some work before I fly to Osaka next month. I wish I could help. Everyone I know just teaches English. 3. Here, try a bit of this sauce. What do you think? Yeah, not bad. Um, it could just use a little more salt. Cases in point. Hey, Nick. You know that novel I've been working on? I feel like I'm stuck. I just can't figure out where this story is going. Man, I don't know. I could really use some soju right about now. Are you down? My treat. Day 45. 칭찬에 대해 감사 표현하기. It's nice of you to say so. Model examples. 1. You think so? That's so nice of you to say. 2. How nice of you to say so. 3. That's so sweet of you to say something like that. 4. You're kidding, right? Thank you for saying so, but I'm still not quite happy with it. 5. It's nice of you to offer, but I don't really need any more help. Small talk. 1. What a beautiful cafe. It's just what this neighborhood needed. How nice of you to say so. I put a lot of effort into making it look just right. 2. Don't worry so much about passing the interview. I can't imagine anyone more qualified. Thank you for saying so, but I'm not so sure. 3. I'm so impressed with your writing, James. 
you really improved. It's almost like you hired a professional to write for you. <laughs> That's nice of you to say, Ms. Brown. This essay is all mine. Cases in point. How have you been? It sounds like your English has really improved since you stopped taking my classes. What's your secret? That's nice of you to say. Honestly, it's all thanks to you. I've just been doing the same exercises you taught me. Day 46. 동사 컴플레인을 이용해 의견 말하기. I can't complain at all. Model examples. 1. I can't complain. Things are going pretty well. 2. I've been feeling a little out of sorts lately, but I can't complain. 3. I can't complain. He is easy to work with. 4. The tacos I've had in Korea are much less spicy. I can't complain, though. 5. I can't complain at all. The handling was pretty good. Small talk. 1. I heard that you finally started college. How were the first few weeks? Hmm. I can't complain. The assignments are really hard, but I know it will be worth it. And besides, I've made a lot of friends already. 2. Oh, is this your new car? It looks good, but how old is it? Maybe 20 or 25 years old? Yeah, it's a 2000 model. I can't complain, though. It's hard to find any affordable car in this market. Cases in point. Hi, Dad. I heard you were concerned about me riding in the city. I admit the motorcycle itself is a little bit old, but I can't complain. I got a great deal on it. Anyways, please don't worry too much. I'm taking a driving safety course, and I've bought a full set of safety gear. Day 47 동사 오후를 이용해 갚아야 할 돈이나 신세에 대해 말하기 You owe me five bucks. Model examples 1. You owe me 100,000 won. 2. Want me to grab you something from the coffee shop? I owe you lunch anyway. 3. I owe you a favor for helping me move. 4. You owe me 20 push-ups in our next session. 5. Why do you accept such poor treatment from your supervisors? You act like you owe them something. Small talk. 1. I really appreciate you getting this fixed so quickly. So how much do I owe you? Just paying for the parts would be good enough. It wasn't any trouble. 2. I don't know. I just feel bad leaving my job like this. Should I help them find my replacement? Or should I give them a nice goodbye gift on my last day? Forget about it, Alex. You don't owe them anything. Leave and never look back. Cases in point. Good afternoon, Mr. Bernstein. I would like to thank you again for the terrific job you did catering my daughter's wedding on the 19th. I'm writing to ask for an invoice. Please let me know exactly how much I owe you, and I will transfer the money to your account on Monday. Day 48 동감 나타내기 I feel the same way. Model examples 1. I'm glad you felt the same way. 2. 
Were you really happy with the service there? I certainly didn't feel the same way. 3. I don't like working with him, and I think he feels the same way towards me. 4. I want to work with you again someday, and I hope you feel the same way. 5. I'm glad you brought it up. I was feeling the same way. Small talk. 1. Mr. Johnson, this proposal looks like it was a bit rushed. I see a few typos and such. I think you could have done better. Honestly, I feel the same way. I wish I had spent more time on it. 2. Frank, we need to talk. I think we've grown apart. Yeah, Sally, I've felt the same way for a while now. 3. I called Porsche and tried to arrange a repair, but they said I would have to wait until October. It's like they don't care about you unless you're a new customer. Yeah, really. I felt the same way the last time I got my oil changed. Cases in point. Thank you for your very kind review of our restaurant. We think that we provide a comfortable atmosphere and unique food, and we're glad you feel the same way. Comments like yours make all of our efforts worth it. We look forward to your next visit. Day 49. 명사 해수를 통해 번거로움 표현하기. Transferring twice feels like a huge hassle. Model examples. 1. That feels like a big hassle to me. 2. Does cooking for one feel like too much of a hassle? 3. Coffee beans are a hassle to pick up if you spill them. 4. Keeping my hair short saves me time and hassle in the morning. 5. Josh left the sofa in front of the door. It was such a hassle to get over it every time I went outside. Small talk. 1. When I work out in the morning, it puts me in a good mood, and it's easier to stay focused at work, too. Yeah. I'd like to start exercising before work, too, but it feels like such a hassle. 2. We tried fixing the air conditioner ourselves, but it didn't work. We put a big plastic bowl underneath it and have to empty that every hour or so. Wow, that sounds like such a hassle. At least it's still working. I couldn't live without AC in this weather. Cases in point. Getting tested in America was the biggest hassle of my trip. They had a shortage of PCR tests, and I couldn't get a result in time before my flight. I had no choice but to buy a rapid test at the airport, which cost an arm and a leg. Day 50 관행에 대해 자연스럽게 말하기 That's just how things work here. Model examples. 1. You'll often hear excuses like, but that's just how things work here. 2. That's just how things work in capitalism. 3. At first, I was mad about the CEO's daughter being promoted faster than me. But then I realized that's just how things work at a family-owned company. 4. I wish I had a nice balance between work and home life, but that's not how it works in most Korean companies. Small talk. 1. If you are paying the fare, then I've got the tip. <laughs> Thanks, but that's not how things work here. We don't tip taxi drivers. 2. 
If you don't have enough money to pay your rent, can't you just ask your boss for a raise? Eh,、uh, that's not really how things work at a conglomerate. 3. Could you possibly make an exception and let me place an order with only 30% down? I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. Everybody has to put down at least 50%. Cases in point. In America, if you accidentally bump into someone as you walk past them, you immediately apologize. But that's not how it works here. This is a very fast paced country, and personal space is often disregarded. Day 51. 잘하고 싶은 마음 표현하기. I want to get better at golf. Model examples 1. If you really want to get better at anything, you should fully commit to it. 2. Hang in there. Once you reach the intermediate level, it takes way longer to get better. 3. Practice is the only way to get better at something. 4. I can't seem to get better at anything. 5. I've been cooking for myself since university, but I still want to get better. It takes me like an hour to make pasta. Small talk. 1. Your English sounds good to me. In fact, I think you're probably better at English than anyone I know. Yeah, but I still feel like I need to get better at speaking. 2. I'm thinking of going backpacking around Europe before I get a job. The thing is, I'll probably need to get better at English first. Not a bad idea. You can use English everywhere in Europe. 3. I feel like I have no skills outside of work. You can get better at anything as long as you set aside enough time. You know, my friend Chosu only took up the flute after retiring, and now he plays semi professionally. Cases in point When I first started my YouTube channel, It took me like six or seven hours to edit one 10 minute video. I think I'm finally getting better at it, and now I can upload a new video pretty much every day if I want. Day 52. 시간 여유에 대해 말하기. I can't seem to find the time to exercise. Model examples 1. I've gotten super busy at work, so I haven't been able to make time to go to the gym. 2. In a relationship, you have to make time for each other. 3. Please feel free to come visit me. I can always make time for you. 4. Writing these books has been keeping me super busy. Sometimes I can't even find time to have a decent meal. 5. I normally go grocery shopping every other week, but I haven't been able to find the time for two months. Small talk. 1. I know you've been busy lately. But I think it's important that we make time for each other. I miss spending time with you. I can totally see where you're coming from. I'll make more of an effort and make more time for us. 2. Your wedding is finally almost here. You must be excited. Then again, you seem so busy. I know. It's only two days away. I need to get my nails done. But I don't know how I can find the time with everything going on. Cases in point I am sorry for not completing your request sooner. 
or at least giving you an update. We have a lot going on here at headquarters, so we haven't been able to find the time to work on the draft contract that you requested. I will make sure to have it done and sent to you by next Friday. Day 53. 전치사 4. 다양하게 활용하기. Taizo has pretty good products for its prices. Model examples. 1. He's kind of short for a basketball player. 2. It's rather cold for such a sunny day, isn't it? 3. She is rather tall for an Asian girl. 4. The rent is really low for how big my place is. 5. The amusement park was surprisingly crowded for a school day. Small talk. 1. Wow, your English is super fluent for someone who has never traveled abroad. Thanks. I've watched a lot of British shows and I make sure to practice as much as possible. 2. Did you see that guy? The one who just crossed the street? Yeah, he has really wide shoulders for how tall he is. 3. Try a bite of my vegan hamburger. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. It's definitely not the same as my real burger. Still, it tastes pretty meaty for something made from tofu. Cases in point. I've reviewed a lot of luxury SUVs on this channel, but what's impressive about this one is that it gets fantastic gas mileage, especially for its weight and size. This makes it a good option for those who need a daily commuter. Day 54 전치사 오버 다양하게 활용하기 Let's catch up over lunch. Model examples 1. Maybe we could talk about that over dinner. 2. I'm sorry, I have to go now, but let's catch up later, maybe over some coffee. 3. My girlfriend's out with friends now. I'm sure they're sharing gossip over drinks. 4. Koreans seem to love bonding over pork belly and soju. 5. I need some serious relationship advice. Maybe we could meet over drinks instead of coffee. Small talk. 1. Okay, I think we've solved the billing problem with our supplier. Next, I want to ask you about your new team member. Um, let's talk about that over drinks. I have a lot to say on the topic. 2. Hey, Carrie. How are you? Let's go out and catch up over some salads. Actually, I have something to share with you, and maybe it should be over drinks. I was looking through my husband's phone, and I found something. Cases in point. You know, preparing a holiday meal can be really stressful, not to mention all the cleaning up after. Avoid the stress by going out for dinner. There's no better way to catch up with your family than over royal court cuisine. Dine like a king with your relatives this Chuseok. Please book quickly before we run out of reservation times. Day 55 동사 스윙을 이용해 잠시 들르는 상황 표현하기 Swing by my place for coffee before work. Model examples. 1. I forgot to get Terry a gift. 
Is there a bakery on our way to the party? Maybe we can swing by and grab a cake. 2. Do you mind if I swing by your office later this afternoon? 3. Please don't swing by the bar on your way home. We need to rush a little to make it to the concert on time. 4. Let's swing by there and have just one more drink before you head home. My treat. Small talk. 1. What a surprise! Please come in. Thanks, but actually, I can't stay. I just wanted to swing by and return your jacket. 2. I'm a little worried about our Yeri. This is the first time we've left her at home by herself. I'm sure she's fine, but I wouldn't mind swinging by and checking in on her. 3. Oh, you need to swing by? How about 345? That works for me. Thank you. I won't take up too much of your time. I just wanted to swing by and drop off a little gift. Cases in point After the grand opening last week, we hope business has been going smoothly. Of course, It will take some time for you guys to get settled into your new routines. But Mr. Yamada wanted to swing by and make sure everything is okay. Day 56 약속 일정이 있다고 말하기 I'm afraid I already have plans. Model examples 1. I'm sorry, I can't. I already have plans. 2. I thought maybe we could go for a hike or something this week. Do you have any plans this Sunday? 3. Do you want to come with me to the exhibition on Friday? I mean, if you don't already have plans. 4. I actually have this appointment with a real estate agent in Techidong. I'm thinking of moving there. 5. I have a personal training appointment every Tuesday after work. Small talk. 1. What are you up to this weekend? My schedule's completely free. On Saturday, one of my friends is performing in a Gugak concert. If you don't have any plans, how about coming along? 2. Hey, Julie. Our team is going out for dinner and drinks after work today. Do you think you can make it? Oh, I'm afraid I actually have plans. I'm meeting my boyfriend's parents for the first time tonight. 3. It's been a while since we last met up. Do you have time to chill on Friday? On Friday, I have a doctor's appointment at 1 p.m., but any time after that, I'm free to meet. Cases in point We decided to stay for a couple more days after the conference is over. We want to check out some famous locations from Korean shows like Squid Game and Parasite. If you don't already have plans, would you mind showing us around Seoul? Day 57 돈이 부족한 상황 표현하기 Money is a bit tight right now. Model examples 1. I think we should try cooking at home more. Money is a bit tight right now. 2. I can take care of the check if you're tight on cash. 3. Is there any way I can pay for this in installments? I love the computer, but money's tight this month. 4. This website has a lot of recipes for cooking on a tight budget. 5. 
My nephew is going to California for university, but without any scholarships, his budget is going to be tight. Small talk. One. I just came across this nice Korean place in Anguktong. I really want to try their short ribs. Yeah, honey, but I think we should stop eating out so much. Money's a bit tight right now, don't you think? Two. What is it, Mr. Harper? Was my performance not so good this year? No, you've been a hard worker, but I'm afraid we have to let you go anyway. This department is going to have a tighter budget next year. Cases in point. Our annual report shows that sales dropped about 8% year over year. This means that the expense budget is tighter and we're asking all staff to cut down on travel accordingly. Instead of physically going abroad for business, Zoom meetings are to be conducted whenever possible. Day 58. The hours of work time and work hours are displayed. What are the hours like? Model examples. 1. The hours are long, but at least the pay is above average. 2. The hours aren't bad, but my commute takes forever. 3. The hours are great. I get to spend every evening with my boys. Then again, the pay is a bit low. 4. I just wanted to know what the hours are like and if any overtime is mandatory. 5. I'm not getting enough hours, so I'm thinking about doing some tutoring on the side, too. I could really use the money. Small talk. 1. Hello. I saw that you have an opening for a part-time cook. May I ask what the hours are? We have a few positions available. Why don't you come in for an interview and we can work out the details? 2. Well, you're almost 60 now and your salary is pretty high. I'm not sure if we can afford to keep you on full time. Have you considered retiring? Honestly, I'd rather not retire yet. But how about if I started working fewer hours? Cases in point. This is Harriet at Star Recruiting. I have an opening here with a large software firm, and I think you would be a good fit. The pay is negotiable, but I think you could get more than $60,000 a year. On top of that, the hours are short. It's actually a morning-only position. Can I schedule you for an interview this week? Day 59. 동사 핸들을 이용해 감당하다의 의미 전달하기. I have a lot on my plate at work, but it's nothing I can't handle. Model examples. 1. I can't handle spicy Korean food. 2. Summers in Korea are brutal. I'm hot natured which means I can't handle the heat. 3. I hate when I have to teach all boys' classes. 15 teenage boys are more than I can handle. 4. If anyone else says they are coming, let's get the party catered. Cooking for 10 is more than I can handle. Small talk. 1. I can't handle all this humidity. I'm from San Diego, so I'm spoiled by the good weather there. Well, this is your first year here. I'm sure you'll get used to it. 2. Oh man, I didn't know takgarbi would be so spicy. Yeah, it can be. 
If it's too spicy for you to handle, have it with some rice. Or we can order some cheese to put on top. 3. Did you see North Face came out with a new padded coat? I wanted to get one, but their website is down. Maybe they got more orders than they can handle and their site crashed. Cases in point. Thank you for your interest in our oil products. Your inquiry is about a very large order, larger than what we normally handle. We can send you 2,000 barrels, but with our limited equipment, it will take up to two weeks. Please let me know if you'd like to go forward. Day 60 동사 콜을 이용해 당위성 전달하기 That calls for a party. Model examples 1. This calls for a celebration. 2. This calls for another round. 3. It calls for olive oil. Do you think corn oil will work as a substitute? 4. It calls for vanilla extract. Do we still have any? 5. The recipe calls for some cheese in the pasta, but then a whole other layer of cheese on top of that. Small talk. 1. I just got promoted to supervisor. That's awesome. That calls for a party. 2. It turns out we only have pork in the fridge. Oh, really? The recipe calls for beef, but I guess pork will be okay. 3. Thanks for grabbing a beer with me. It turns out the boss decided to demote me to part-time starting next month. Oh, that's rough. And it calls for something stronger. How about a bottle of whiskey on me? Cases in point. Everyone, I'm pleased to announce that we've completed the project on time and under budget on top of that. This definitely calls for a celebration. I'd like to ask that you join me for drinks after work at the Conrad so that I can congratulate you all individually on your efforts. Day 61 못 알아들었다를 다양하게 표현하기 I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Model examples 1. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat it? 2. I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. 3. I didn't catch the date. When are you moving out again? 4. Is there anything you weren't able to catch? 5. I didn't catch the part of your presentation when you talked about the budget. Small talk. 1. Hello, I was wondering if you have the new shoes in size 38. I'm sorry, what size? I didn't catch that. 2. What did you say was the title of your second book? I didn't catch that because my cat knocked something over. <laughs> no problem. I'm just glad you're interested in my work. 3. Excuse me, Mr. Klein. I didn't catch the answers to numbers 3 and 4. Ah, uh, okay. I'll give the answers again. Cases in point. I'm sorry, I can't catch what you're saying. Everyone, please make sure that your mics are working before entering the meeting. As a reminder, you're not supposed to eat or drink anything. That can be quite distracting. Finally, please make sure to keep your pets and children in another room.
Day 62. No wonder you 이용해 판단의 근거 말하기. No wonder you look so refreshed. Model examples. 1. You didn't get home until 3 a.m. and you reeked of alcohol. No wonder you feel sick today. 2. I heard on the news that there was a protest in your neighborhood. No wonder you're late. 3. He has zero fashion sense. No wonder he can't find a girlfriend. 4. There's a supply chain issue, so no wonder prices are rising. 5. The ingredients are basically just butter, flour, and sugar. No wonder it tastes good. Small talk. 1. I heard Jerry drank five bottles of soju with the boss last night. Oh, no wonder his eyes were so red this morning. 2. Thank you for the snack. I didn't have anything since breakfast. I see. No wonder you were so hungry. 3. I heard some bank workers pretty much have to stick around the office until 9 p.m. No wonder they're on strike. I was wondering since they get paid so much. Cases in point. Look at the size of this hamburger I got from a diner near Times Square. When I saw it on the menu, it didn't look this big. And it comes with a side of breadsticks. No wonder Americans tend to be overweight. Day 63 적절한 무엇이 생각나지 않을 때 자연스럽게 말 이어가기 I can't think of the right thing to say. Model examples 1. I can't think of the right word for my situation. 2. I can't think of a better word to describe how I feel than angry. 3. What a nice exhibition. I can't think of a better way to spend my afternoon off. 4. I can't think of a use for all this leftover cheese. 5. Using dual monitors is really convenient. I can multitask or switch between tasks. I can't think of any downside. Small talk. 1. Do you know anyone who has an electric vehicle? I can't think of anyone at the moment, but I must know at least one. Car makers and dealers are all trying to promote electric vehicles. 2. Sir, what would be a good translation for the Korean term chung? Yeah, I've been getting that question a lot, but I can't really think of a single good expression. Affection? Attachment? Nothing seems quite right. Cases in point Mr. Cho, if you have a moment, I could use your help with a shipping problem. We accidentally forgot to send a package out for several days, and now I can't think of a way to get it to the customer by Thursday, which is our guaranteed delivery date. Day 64 By the way, 제대로 활용하기 New Year's is just around the corner. Are you going to your parents' house, by the way? Model examples 1. That's why I'll never go to another jazz festival. Do you like jazz, by the way? 2. The room comes with two twin beds. You'll also have a great view of the beach, by the way. 3. I have a friend who's looking for a trainer. He's single, by the way. 4. 
We'll just have to order something for Mark and Mindy. When are they coming, by the way? Small talk. 1. Do you want to join this yoga class with me? I can get a discount for referring a friend. I'll think about it. I do need to work on my flexibility. By the way, is the instructor cute? 2. You're still single, right? Can I set you up with my friend Samantha? She's your age and really kind. Sounds great. By the way, do you know Samantha's MBTI? 3. Hi there. I'd like some more information on the new Mercedes model. Sure. I can tell you all about it. Which make of car are you currently driving, by the way? Cases in point. Thanks for hanging out with me last night. I had a great time, and I hope you felt the same way. By the way, did you make it to work on time? I was a little worried after you almost fell getting into a cab. Day 65 I wasn't aware of the time. Model examples 1. Are you aware your zipper is down? 2. Are you aware there is something in your teeth? 3. I wasn't aware that this table was reserved. 4. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the bathroom sink is clogged. 5. I don't know if you're aware of it, but Susie's brother has been seriously ill. Small talk. 1. Are you aware that you have a stain on your shirt pocket? Yeah, I know, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. I think I should keep an extra shirt in my office. 2. I wasn't very impressed with Mr. Kim's interview. Oh, really? Aren't you aware of his background? He's never studied abroad. 3. I'm actually here with my boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware you were with someone. Cases in point. Dear customer, in case you aren't aware, you have used up all of your prepaid data. Please purchase additional data credit. Otherwise, your service will be suspended starting at midnight on the 10th. GT Customer Service. Day 66. 전화 통화 자연스럽게 마무리하기. I think I will have to let you go. Model examples. 1. I'm afraid we'll have to let you go. 2. It's already 11 p.m. I think I will have to let you go. 3. I think I will have to let you go. I'm getting on the bus. 4. I'll have to let you go. I'm getting another call. 5. I have another meeting scheduled right after this, so I'm afraid I'll have to let you go. Small talk. 1. Well, Mom, is it all right if I let you go? I should start getting ready for work. Of course, honey. Thanks for calling. Have a great day at work. 2. Sorry, I'm getting another call. Can I let you go for now? Okay, but please call me back right away when you're done. 3. Even after I reset my password, I still can't get into my email account. Okay, Ms. Shin, it's probably going to take me some time to figure out a solution. So how about I let you go and then call you back when I'm done? 
Cases in point. It's getting pretty late here, so I will have to let you go. We'll be there in Seoul before you know it, though. Text me before the flight if you need anything from Miami. Day 67. Away를 이용해 시간적 여유 나타내기. Lunar New Year is less than a week away. Model examples. 1. I'm only one stop away. I'll be there soon. 2. The weekend is only two days away, but I don't have any plans yet. Do you want to do something with me around Seoul Forest? 3. I can't believe my girlfriend's birthday is only a week away. I still don't know what to get her. 4. Valentine's Day is only a few days away. I want to surprise my wife, but I still can't figure out what would be best. Small talk. 1. My finals are only two weeks away. I'm afraid I need to really get down to studying. Ah, so you won't be able to hang out until after? 2. My wife's birthday is only a week away, but I can't figure out what to get her. You know, I got my girlfriend a nice bracelet last month. I'll share the jeweler's website with you. 3. The release date is a month away, but I'm not even 80% finished. Oh, really? We still need to proofread, edit, and typeset. We should strongly consider pushing the date back. Cases in point. The launch is less than a week away, and we're seeing a lot of excitement on our social media. I want to make sure each branch has plenty of stock. Also, we should consider hiring seasonal workers to manage the rush. Day 68. 지연되는 상황에 대해 말하기. I don't have time to grab lunch. I'm behind on work. Model examples. 1. I'm afraid we are three months behind schedule. 2. I've been watching Extraordinary Attorney Wu, but I'm like three or four episodes behind. Please don't spoil anything. 3. Once you get behind on your bills, it can be difficult to catch up. 4. I'm pretty behind on homework. I'll have to spend all weekend catching up. Small talk. 1. Oh man, look at this month's electricity bill. I'm not sure I have enough money in my checking account. You know, we're already one month behind on payment. If we're late again, they're going to cut us off. 2. Hi, Sujin. Are your studies going okay? I just wanted to ask if you're going to transfer the rent soon. You're one month behind on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I've been working on some projects and it totally slipped my mind. 3. I didn't realize that we had to report our earnings to the tax office. Oh no, we must be like a few months behind. Cases in point. Suyan, I was just going through my bank transactions and I found that it has been a while since your last tuition payment. I think that was on June 23rd, which would mean you're nearly two months behind on tuition. Does that look right to you? Day 69. 적극적으로 공감 표현하기. That's for sure. Model examples. 1. Sales are picking up. That's for sure. 2. 
Politicians are all liars. That's for sure. 3. We can't afford to continue this trade war. That's for sure. 4. My husband is not the kind of guy who would ever cheat. That's for sure. 5. Jonathan won't have any trouble getting another job with his qualifications. That's for sure. Small talk. 1. I just thought he was a little stubborn. That's for sure. 2. Our lives are kind of dominated now by a few huge conglomerates. I feel like we rely too much on neighbor and cacao talk. That's for sure. We should definitely make Korea a more welcoming place for startups. 3. We've worked so hard on this project. We should ask for a raise once it's over. That's for sure. We've proven our worth. Cases in point George has been a terrific human resources manager. Since he joined 30 years ago, he has helped train at least half of all new hires. Much of our growth was only possible thanks to him. That's for sure. Day 70. Go wrong with 제대로 활용하기. You can't go wrong with black. Model examples. 1. You can't go wrong with the color combination of black and white. 2. You can't go wrong with a dark gray suit. 3. If you want good weather, You can't go wrong with San Diego. 4. Potatoes and cheese? You can't go wrong with them. 5. You can never go wrong with BMW. Small talk. 1. I haven't eaten all day either. What do you want? I'm craving meat. And we can't go wrong with Korean barbecue. 2. We have 20 people coming, so maybe five pizzas will be enough. What should we get? You can't go wrong with just cheese and pepperoni. 3. Mom, what do you think of this outfit? I'm not sure if it's really appropriate for work. Let me see. The pants are a little tight. But you've got the blazer on top, which makes it all right. You can't go wrong with that combination. Cases in point. Are you still trying to figure out where to invest your money? Having invested in all sorts of startups over the years, I have found that bio startups are the safest option. In my opinion, it's hard to go wrong with them. Day 71. 전치사 4로 목적 나타내기. Let's go out for some fresh air. Model examples. 1. Can you stay for dinner? 2. I actually went shopping for furniture at IKEA. 3. Can I go out just a couple of minutes for some fresh air? 4. I'm afraid I'll have to leave early for an interview. 5. I have to fast starting at 8 p.m. for my checkup tomorrow morning. Small talk. 1. I'm taking the IELTS this weekend, and I hope to get at least a 6. Oh, do you need that for a promotion? 2. My father moved to America for a better life, but he ended up working in factories here too. That happens way too often, especially with Southeast Asians. 3. I went shopping for G-Shock for my girlfriend. Is that really the kind of gift she enjoys? 
Cases in point. I understand that you want your package to arrive this week, but I'm afraid the only other option is via airmail, and you would have to pay twice as much for expedited shipping. Are you sure you'd like to go ahead with that? Day 72. 전치사 어바웃을 이용해 이유 또는 용건 묻기. What is this about? Is this about my test results? Model examples. 1. I'm happy to meet you for dinner, but you kind of called me out of the blue. What is this about? 2. Sally isn't responding to my texts. Do you know what that's about? 3. I see we have another meeting scheduled later. What is it about? 4. May I ask what this is about? Small talk. 1. I'd like to speak to Jeff, please. May I ask what this is about? 2. Please close the door behind you. Oh, no. What is this about? Is this about me showing up late? 3. My parents invited us to that French restaurant on Namsan for dinner this Friday. Oh, really? It's a little sudden. What is it about? Do they want to tell us something serious? Cases in point. Hi, Jeff. It was great seeing you in Seoul last week. I hope you had a nice visit. And actually, that's why I'm writing. You seemed a little bit uncomfortable, especially at our dinner with the clients. Can I ask what that was about? Were the representatives' questions perhaps too personal for you? Day 73 동사 사운드 다양하게 활용하기 That sounds like an even better plan to me. Model examples. 1. She sounded like a Texan. 2. He sounds like a perfect boyfriend. 3. These reviews make it sound like a chill place to hang out after work. 4. You don't sound like you were really interested in joining us for camping. 5. It sounds like you haven't really tried authentic barbecue. Small talk. 1. I'm thinking of visiting San Diego this winter. What do you think? I heard they have mild weather all year round, so that sounds like a perfect place for you. 2. Okay, I'm willing to come with you to the workshop if you think I should. <laughs> It sounds like you really don't want to go. I won't force you. 3. Randy was on the phone when I walked past his office, and he sounded like he was upset. Do you know what that was about? Yeah, I think headquarters wants to transfer him to China. Cases in point Housing prices are falling in Korea's capital, leaving young people breathing sighs of relief. And while this may not sound like an issue, it could lead to other problems. Many current homeowners are in debt after buying during the bubble. They took out huge loans, and with interest rates rising, they are feeling the squeeze. Day 74 It's not like를 이용해 그런 게 아니고라고 말하기. It's not like we are in a serious relationship or anything. Model examples. 1. It's not like I'm a bad driver or anything. 2. It's not like I eat fast food all the time. 3. Our gas bill was really high, but it's okay. 
It's not like we can't afford it. 4. It's not like you're losing your job. It's just a transfer. 5. It's not like I swore at you. What's the big deal? Small talk. 1. I can't believe you and your wife each have sports cars. How can you afford them? Well, it's not like I'm rich. It's just that we're both really into cars. 2. Haven't I told you that Cup Bop is really unhealthy? I know, Mom. It's not like I eat fast food all the time. I was just too tired today to cook. 3. It seems like you don't really want Yejin to come to the party. Yeah, I didn't invite her. But it's not like I have anything against her. She just has this bad habit of hitting on guys when she's drunk. Cases in point. I strongly recommend watching Netflix shows, but it's not like I'm a huge fan of House of Cards or Suits. I couldn't really get into them at first. Of course, it takes quite some time to make it a habit, but I can't think of a better language learning tool. Day 75. 슈어를 이용해 상대방의 의사 재확인하기. Are you sure you don't want to try my sushi? It's really good. Model examples. 1. Thank you for dinner. Are you sure you don't want to come up for coffee? 2. Are you sure you're not going to join us for dinner? You turned down the boss last time, too. 3. Are you sure you don't want to go on a blind date with my girlfriend's friend? 4. Are you sure you don't want to open a savings account? We're offering higher interest rates than anyone else. Small talk. 1. Are you sure you don't want to come with us to another bar? Yeah, I have to give a presentation tomorrow at 9 a.m., so I should really get some sleep. 2. Are you sure you don't want to try this raw fish? For the last time, yes. I'd rather go hungry than eat anything raw. 3. Here, I'm done trying this on, and I don't think it's really for me. Okay, but are you sure you're not going to buy it? It's 50% off only this week. Cases in point. I am so thankful for your hard work over the past year, Jason. I don't think the project would have been successful without you. Now, are you sure you don't want to stay with the team for our upcoming project? I can guarantee that all members will get a fat bonus equal to at least one month's salary. You don't want to miss out on this career opportunity. Day 76 미안한 점에 대해 간결하게 설명하기 Sorry about earlier. My phone died. Model examples. 1. Sorry about last night. I'll definitely pay you back as soon as I find my wallet. 2. Sorry about yesterday. Please don't worry. I'm sure my insurance will cover everything. 3. Sorry about this morning. I should be more careful with my coffee. 4. Sorry about this morning. I forgot to set my alarm. 5. Sorry about yesterday. I'll take you shopping this weekend. Small talk. 1. Sorry about last night. I shouldn't have acted like that with the waiter. It's okay. I don't think it was really your fault. 2. Sorry about earlier. My boss came in 
and I'm not supposed to be on the phone during work. I'm still hurt. You don't have to cut me off like that. 3. I'm glad I ran into you here. Sorry about this morning. It's okay. I know you've been under a lot of pressure to meet our deadline. Cases in point. Hi, Melinda. Sorry about this morning. I left in the middle of the meeting because I had to take a call from my sister. My uncle is in the hospital, and I thought she had an update on how he was doing. It turned out it was nothing serious, though. Day 77 아직 그 정도는 아니다 라고 말하기 We are not there yet. Model examples 1. I am not there yet. I am running 10 minutes late. 2. The rest area will have a bathroom, but we're not quite there yet. 3. Before lifting the mask mandate, cases should be at less than 5,000 a day. We are not there yet. 4. I like her, but we're not there yet. Maybe we can get married in a year or so. 5. The technology is advanced enough, but we are not there yet. Small talk. 1. Excuse me, I'm getting a bit hungry. Is it time for dinner? I'm sorry, we plan on starting the dinner service when we are two hours from our destination and we're not there yet. 2. Do you think it's time to raise interest rates? According to the Consumer Price Index, we're not there yet. If inflation reaches 7% by our next meeting, we will consider it. Cases in point At Toyota, we are aware that consumers demand the latest technologies and they are looking forward to the development of self-driving vehicles. Unfortunately, we are unable to announce when sales of our first such cars can begin because the technology is simply not there yet. We remain committed to the safety of our customers and will continue testing. Day 78 동사 for guess으로 원어민처럼 자연스럽게 말하기 I forgot my phone charger at work. Model examples 1. I think I forgot my wallet. Could you take care of this? 2. I forgot my keys at home. 3. I forgot my phone. Do you think I have enough time to go back and get it? 4. We forgot Kevin. 5. I always forget to take my pills after lunch. Small talk. 1. I'll try and grab the next taxi that comes by. Oh, wait. I forgot Tom's birthday present. I'll go back in and grab it first. 2. Let's begin. Please take out your homework and hand it to me for grading. Um, Ms. Moore, I'm afraid I forgot my homework. 3. I'm sorry, sir, but I realize I forgot to put up your job opening. That's fine. When can I expect it to be posted? Cases in point. Please don't forget your neck gaiters. The weather isn't that bad now in the city, but it will be much colder on the mountain. Besides, the weather forecast says the temperatures might get down to minus 10 degrees. You might even want to bring crampons just in case it snows. Day 79 처음 겪는 상황에 대해 표현하기 I have never seen anything like this. 
Model examples 1. It's super cold. I have never seen any weather like this. 2. Things aren't normally like this so early in the afternoon. 3. I've never seen a sleek design like this. This car looks like it came straight out of a sci fi movie. 4. Things have never been like this. 5. I've never tasted any dessert like this. What did you call it? Small talk. 1. Do you know what happened? I got a thousand subscribers overnight. Things have never been like this. I think a comedian mentioned your channel on TV last night. 2. What's going on at City Hall? I've never seen a crowd like this. Do you remember the mayor's scandal? I think they're trying to force her to step down. 3. What do you think about the drop in housing prices? I've been working as a realtor for over 20 years, and I've never seen anything like this. Cases in point Due to overwhelming demand, we're afraid that we have to close four hours before our normal closing time today. Our apologies. Even though we know our gelato is creamy and delicious, we've never seen demand like this. We will work on increasing our capacity for next week. Day 80. 어디에서 무엇을 하는지에 대해 정확하게 전달하기. I am at Hansot picking up dinner. Model examples 1. I am at Starbucks grabbing some coffee. 2. My boss is out picking up the VP from the airport. 3. I was in the living room watching Emily in Paris when you called. 4. We were at the bar drinking some whiskey when a fight broke out. 5. I was at the BMW dealership in Chengdam checking out the new SUV. Small talk. 1. Are you almost here? Dinner starts in five minutes. I'm actually at Olive Young looking for hand cream. I should be there in 10 minutes. 2. Sorry, I'm running a little late. Are you already at the movie theater? I'm at the cafe across the street waiting for you. 3. Where were you when I tried calling you earlier? I was in the conference room getting chewed out by my manager. Cases in point We were at a bakery in Mapo picking up some bread when we ran into one of my favorite actors. He looked much better in person than he does on TV. But when I walked up to him and asked him for an autograph, he turned me down, saying he was in a rush. That's why I refuse to watch anything with him in it. Day 81. 조심스럽게 의도 전달하기. I thought maybe we could cancel the reservation and just stay at home. Model examples 1. I thought maybe we could get our teacher these vitamins for her birthday. 2. I thought maybe we could have a Zoom meeting instead of one in person. 3. I thought maybe we could rent a bus for our trip instead of buying a bunch of train tickets. 4. I thought maybe you could introduce the new hire to our major clients. 5. I thought maybe we could take the whole week off next week so we could come back refreshed after New Year's. Small talk. 1. If you're not too busy, 
I thought maybe we could get a drink sometime. Sure. I was thinking the same thing. 2. Do you want to get together while I'm on my business trip? Yeah. I thought maybe we could go out and get dinner on the last day you're here. 3. Sir, one of my students is looking for someone to help her edit her cover letter. I thought maybe you'd be interested. Sure. I have some free time this week. Please feel free to give her my contact info. Cases in point Hey guys, I was looking at the weather forecast and thought maybe we could go hiking this weekend. I have a camping stove and everything, so you wouldn't need to bring any equipment. Just let me know. The fall colors aren't going to last much longer. Day 82 지시 대명사를 주어로 활용하기 I took a painkiller, but that didn't relieve my migraine. Model examples 1. We remodeled the whole interior, but that still didn't change the atmosphere. 2. Does it make me look skinnier when I tuck in my shirt? 3. It really hurts my feelings when you lie to me. 4. When someone is speaking in a Zoom meeting, it puts them on the big screen. Small talk. 1. You just got off a 14-hour flight from London. Will you be okay for the match tomorrow? I'm quite used to long-haul flights, but I admit that can hurt my performance to some degree. 2. It seems like the government has raised interest rates again. They have, but it hasn't actually helped to curve inflation. 3. It really pisses me off when you leave dirty dishes and expect me to do them. I thought you enjoyed doing dishes. Cases in point We heard that another team has a plan to get rid of our morning menu. We want to speak out against the idea because that would definitely push away some of our loyal customers. According to our research, 20% of surveyed customers come in at least once a week to eat breakfast. We don't want to risk losing them to competitors. Day 83 I am not really interested in buying another insurance plan. Model examples 1. I thought you would be interested in taking a peek at our winter collection. 2. If you're interested in our classes, please visit www.englishnow.com. 3. I'm not really interested in getting another credit card. 4. Since you're always talking about AI, I thought you would be interested in this article. 5. If you're interested in the opening, feel free to contact me at any time. Small talk. 1. My husband seems interested in buying a new car. I don't really get why he is so crazy about them. He has two sports cars already. I am envious of you, though. At least your husband can afford them. 2. Would you be interested in Haley? Can I set you two up? Didn't I mention that I'm going out with Samantha? 3. Are you interested in taking on another project, Minsu? I'm afraid I already have too much on my plate. Cases in point HR is looking for someone to fill a corporate trainer position at the Rio de Janeiro branch office. If you're interested in working and living abroad for two years, 
please send your resume and a cover letter to hr at abccorporation.com. The position comes with all kinds of perks like free housing, a company car, and Portuguese lessons. Day 84. 시간이 있는지 자연스럽게 물어보기. Hey, have you got a minute? I'd like to show you the logo I've been working on. Model examples. 1. Have you got a minute? I need to talk to you about the upcoming workshop. 2. Have you got a minute? I have a quick question about my cover letter. 3. Do you have a minute? My heater isn't working and I don't know how to fix it. 4. Do you have a minute? I can't find the file you mentioned. Small talk. 1. Hi, Sally. Have you got a minute? By the way, you look a little low on energy today. Yeah, I stayed up late partying last night. What's up? 2. Honey, have you got a second? I can't reach the wine glasses on the top shelf. Sure, here you go. It's a good thing you married such a tall guy, huh? 3. Have you got a moment? Can we meet in my office after lunch? May I ask what this is about? If it's bad news, I'd like to know right away. Cases in point. I'm glad we were able to solve your problem. If you have a minute, please stay on the line after the call. I'd appreciate you answering some questions about your customer service experience today. Day 85. 허밀리어를 사용해 알고 있는지 물어보기. Are you familiar with Myeongnang hot dogs? Model examples. 1. You seem quite familiar with this neighborhood. 2. I am quite familiar with OPIC, having taught preparatory classes for years. 3. The bar didn't look familiar from the outside, but when I went in, I realized I had been there before. 4. I didn't think I'd hiked the north side of Namsan before, but now that I'm here, it seems familiar. Small talk. 1. Do I know you from somewhere? You look very familiar. No, I don't think we've ever met. 2. Are you familiar with BNPL? No, I'm not. What does BNPL stand for, by the way? 3. The music in this commercial sounds familiar. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's an old song by Shin Jung-hyun. What's the name? It's on the tip of my tongue. Cases in point. For those who may not be familiar with the FIRE movement, it stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. It's all about saving money while you're young so you can make your career as short as possible. These people don't find meaning in work and would rather spend their time and energy on other things like family and travel. Day 86 부정문에서 이더 적극적으로 활용하기 I haven't been to 용리단길 either. Model examples 1. I haven't tried Malatang and my girlfriend hasn't either. 2. I'm not going to be able to make it either. 3. I'm glad you never want to go back to Mongolia. I don't want to either. 4. 
Apple isn't planning on releasing a new product either. 5. I can't pull up the website on my phone either. Small talk. 1. I wanted to try Shake Shack's new burger, but they ran out the last time I was there. My girlfriend is really curious about it, but she hasn't tried it either. 2. I keep hearing lots of good things about Squid Game, but I haven't had time to watch it yet. Yeah, I haven't either. I watched some interviews with the actors and director, though. 3. I'm interested in meeting your parents so we can get their approval. Well, we can try. But they don't speak Japanese. Their English actually isn't very good either. Cases in point I don't recommend buying this couch. It was way too expensive for the quality of the materials, and it wasn't easy to set up either. You'd be better off going to IKEA and getting a couch there. It'll be much cheaper and probably last longer too. Day 87. 전치사 언라이크를 이용해 대조 및 비교 나타내기. I get a regular salary, unlike other salespeople. Model examples. 1. Unlike other vacuum cleaners, the V4 can charge in a matter of minutes. 2. Unlike other big cities, Sejong is pretty clean. I think that's because it was planned out so well. 3. This YouTube channel goes pretty in depth into financial topics, unlike other channels. 4. James gives me useful feedback, unlike my previous teachers. Small talk. 1. Having worked with Americans for a couple of years, I think they're quite diligent, unlike Europeans. That's my experience, too. Europeans take a lot of days off. I envy their work-life balance, though. 2. I don't know why people are reluctant to switch to electric cars. They're really clean and quiet, unlike regular cars. That's actually one of the problems for me. They sound so quiet and weird. 3. Want to come with me to Everland on Saturday? Definitely. Everland's the best and it's outside unlike Latte World. Cases in point. Our policy is we never have sales unlike every other shoe brand. That doesn't mean we inflate prices, though. On the contrary, we try our best to keep prices as low as possible by shopping around for materials. Day 88 Unusual, unusually를 사용해 일반적이지 않은 상황 표현하기 In America, hospital stays are unusually expensive. Model examples 1. It's unusual that there aren't many people here. Department stores are usually super crowded on weekends. 2. There is nothing unusual about a guy getting his nails done. 3. Working overtime is not unusual in my job. 4. It's unusually cold for October. 5. New York City's 24-hour public transit system is unusual for an American city. Small talk. 1. My job gives me such good perks on top of my regular salary. You get a regular salary? That's pretty unusual for a salesperson. 2. My wife washes the car once a week, no matter what. I remember you said that you do the cooking, right?
You two have an unusual housework arrangement. 3. It was unusually warm in November, so I was hoping winter wouldn't be so cold this year. Me too. Instead, this winter feels even colder than last year. Cases in point Elon Musk now says he is going to step down after taking a Twitter poll on the topic. He has quite an unusual management style, following a favorite Latin expression of his that translates to the voice of the people is the voice of God. He has asked Twitter users for input on other major decisions too, like whether to allow Donald Trump back. Day 89. 동사 insist를 이용해 주장 나타내기. Please let me drive you home. I insist. Model examples. 1. Let me treat you to lunch. I insist. 2. Take this money. I insist. 3. My wife insisted on white for the wall. 4. When it comes to accommodations, my husband always insists on the expensive option. 5. I don't really want to outstay my welcome, but we will stay one more day with you guys if you insist. Small talk. 1. It's my treat. No, you paid last time, so it's on me. I insist. 2. My girlfriend always insists on going to Starbucks after meals. Is it the same in America? Maybe 10 years ago. Not so much now. 3. Jeff, how are you holding up? I was thinking of swinging by sometime this afternoon. I'm starting to feel better now, so you really don't have to. But if you insist, I won't refuse. Cases in point We have been very disappointed with the quality and timeliness of the products and services you have provided. Despite our repeated attempts to resolve these issues, they have not been adequately addressed. As a result, we must insist on switching to a different vendor who can better meet our needs. Day 90 명사절을 이용해 자연스럽게 말하기 I like what you have going on here in the living room. Model examples 1. The bakery you mentioned is actually close to where I work. 2. I wish the audience could see what really went into this movie. 3. Do you want to know how much I make? 4. This coffee is so different from what you normally find in Seoul. 5. Jorge has explained it many times, but I'm still not really sure what he does for a living. Small talk. 1. What's great about working from home is that you can run errands while getting things done. But there are a lot of distractions. Your TV and pets are right there. 2. I'll tell you what you've got here. It's a simple case of the flu. That's a relief. I was worried I had COVID again. 3. Could you explain what inflation does to the economy overall? Inflation makes people cut down on spending and investors start to pull their money out. Cases in point We pride ourselves on offering the highest quality coffee beans, which are at least one grade above what you normally find in Seoul. Our baristas, who are passionate about their craft, We'll prepare your drink exactly to your specifications.
Day 91. 부사 relatively를 이용해 비교 나타내기. 10 million won is relatively cheap for a used car, but it's still expensive for me. Model examples. 1. He has relatively wide shoulders for his height. 2. The mantis can live for three years, which is a relatively long time in the insect kingdom. 3. Some people still die from Omicron, but for most, symptoms are relatively mild. 4. $200 sounds like a lot of money to fix the water heater, but it's relatively small compared to the cost of buying a whole new one. Small talk. 1. While the neighborhood is quite old, this building is relatively new, only 15 years old. Oh, that explains why it's more expensive than the other places. 2. I expected Gerald to be good at basketball, since he's the tallest out of all my friends. He's relatively short for a Croatian guy, though. I heard they are 180 centimeters tall on average. 3. The chair is relatively short for a Netflix series. It only has six episodes. I just can't seem to get into any show on Netflix, however short it is. Cases in point. We are a relatively small company. but we believe we are capable of carrying out a construction project of this size. We've gained plenty of expertise and know-how from overseas projects. I would really appreciate if you could consider us a possible vendor for your upcoming project. Day 92 전치사 프롬을 이용해 원인 나타내기 I think I got this back pain from sitting at a desk all day. Model examples 1. I have a terrible hangover from drinking too much last night. 2. I think I got this muscle tightness from working out every day last week. 3. I didn't get this scar from anything exciting. I just tripped on the TV's power cord. 4. I think I got this bruise from playing soccer. 5. I got this migraine from staring at my computer screen too long. Small talk. 1. How did your car get so damaged? I think a lot of these dents are from parking on the street. 2. I'm never satisfied with the croissants I find in Seoul. I guess you are spoiled from living in France all those years. 3. You're the first person I've heard use the word clicks for kilometers. Yeah, I think I picked up that expression from the Canadians in my office. Cases in point. Our cushion is designed to alleviate pressure and discomfort from sitting at your desk all day. Its ergonomic design supports your natural posture and promotes proper spinal alignment. Say goodbye to back pain and hello to comfortable, healthy sitting with our cushion. Get yours today and feel the difference. Day 93. 접속사 when을 이용해 조건과 상황 나타내기. My hair gets really messy when it rains. Model examples. 1. She gets irritable when she feels pressed for time. 2. Parties become more interesting when Tom arrives. 3. I want to make fewer mistakes, but it's hard when I am under pressure to speak quickly. 
4. I try to be a good listener for my friends, but it seems like no one is willing to listen to me when I have problems. Small talk. 1. I'm trying not to see him. That's impossible when you live in the same neighborhood. 2. Why would I need an expensive bed when I can make do with this mattress? It's not quite the same, and the room doesn't look quite right without a bed. 3. Housing prices tend to rise when the government tries to step in. But do you really think they are not supposed to try anything? Cases in point Tesla has been doing great. They sold more vehicles than they ever have. The latest model, the Model Y, is selling like hotcakes. And this is particularly impressive right now when car makers are struggling with a shortage of chips and other parts. Most of them have had to cut production. Day 94. 구동사 플랜 온을 이용해 계획 나타내기. We're planning on going to Busan this weekend for Christmas. Model examples. 1. I'm planning on going hiking this weekend. 2. I'm planning on going to Gyeongju for the holiday. 3. Are you planning on seeing your girlfriend tomorrow? 4. Today at the pool, I'm planning on working on my backstroke. 5. Samsung is planning on building a factory in Tyler, Texas. Small talk. 1. Have you decided where to go yet for your vacation? I'm planning on going to Hawaii. I've always wanted to visit the islands. 2. What are you doing this weekend? I was planning on going hiking, but I'm not sure if the weather will cooperate. 3. Do you think now is a good time? Car sales in January are usually low. Definitely. I heard that none of our competitors are planning on releasing anything until February. Cases in point. Smartphone sales are not as strong as they used to be. The market has become saturated, and with new phones offering only slight improvements, customers are waiting longer than two years on average to upgrade. Experts say that phone manufacturers are likely planning on coming out with new models less often. Day 95 I'm afraid, 이용해 미안함 전달하기. I'm afraid the item you're looking for is out of stock. Model examples 1. I am afraid I am running 20 minutes late. 2. I'm afraid this price is a bit beyond my budget. 3. I'm afraid I already have plans tonight. 4. I'm afraid I have to disagree with you on that. 5. I'm afraid I may have to leave the meeting early. I'm expecting an urgent call from our legal team. Small talk. 1. Could I get another beer, please? I'm afraid we are closing shortly. 2. Ideally, I'd like to have lessons on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. I'm afraid I'm not available on weekday afternoons. Can I maybe call you to work out a time? 3. $200 seems pretty steep for such a small repair. That's the going rate, I'm afraid. Cases in point. I'm afraid you don't have the experience we're looking for. We appreciate your interest in the role 
and the time you took to reply, but unfortunately, we will not be able to move forward with your application at this time. We wish you the best of luck in your job search. Day 96 접속사 언레스를 이용해 조건 나타내기 I don't drive nowadays unless I really have to. Model examples 1. I don't wash my car unless I have a date coming up. 2. I tend to mess around unless I have a deadline. 3. I can't talk to strangers unless I'm a little tipsy. 4. You can't go into stores unless you wear a mask. 5. Unless you're committed, you won't make real progress. Small talk. 1. I'd like to have three days off. That shouldn't be a problem unless there is some kind of emergency. 2. Do you always get off work at 5? Pretty much. I try not to work overtime unless I really have to. 3. I've kind of lost my motivation to do my project. Well, motivation comes and goes. Unless you're committed, you won't get good results. Cases in point. I don't drive unless I have to. I prefer to walk, bike, or take public transportation when I can. I only get behind the wheel when it's absolutely necessary because I find driving to be stressful, expensive, and even dangerous. Day 97 부사 도우를 이용해 반대 의견 나타내기 That is a great price. I'm afraid I already have a decent massage chair, though. Model examples 1. I'm really tired today, though. 2. I'm not sure if I can make it to the gym tonight, though. 3. I'm not particularly hungry, though. 4. I'm not feeling well, though. 5. I'm not in the mood to go out, though. Small talk. 1. I know how much you love pork belly. How about we have some after work? Normally I'd say yes. I had some pork belly for dinner last night, though. How about sushi instead? 2. I think I will have to cancel our training appointment next week. That's a shame. Thank you for letting me know well in advance, though. 3. What should we watch this weekend? I've been wanting to check out Parasite for a long time. I'm not really into Korean movies, though. Cases in point I just came across your photos by chance, and I wanted to ask if you'd like to work with me. I'm a photographer, too, as you can see from my profile, and I'm working on a series of photos highlighting new architecture in Seoul. Feel free to disregard if you're not interested in this kind of work, though. Day 98 구동사 make sense를 이용해 이해 나타내기 Minsu said he spends 33,000 won on his haircuts. That doesn't make sense to me. Model examples 1. How can weightlifting be a hobby? That's never made sense to me. 2. Now it makes sense. The main character has actually been an assassin the whole time. 3. It makes better sense for him to rent a car since he's just here on a six-month contract. 4. 
No matter how many times you try to explain inflation to me, it never makes sense. Small talk. One. When I asked Sally if she wanted to go on a blind date, she said no. Yeah, that makes sense. She only broke up with her ex three days ago. Two. It doesn't make sense. I thought companies could save a lot of money by not renting physical office space. I think managers don't really trust us to get work done without direct supervision. Three. Why did they build a botanical garden indoors? No, it makes sense. A lot of the plants come from the Mediterranean, and they would die outdoors in the winter. Cases in point. As a freelance English teacher, I often have to work out times and locations for lessons with my Korean students. One Konglish expression that often comes up is. I have no schedule, and this doesn't make sense. Day 99. 동사 싱크를 이용해 완곡하게 의견 전달하기. I don't think things are gonna work out between them. Model examples. One. I don't think we have time to swing by the department store. The concert starts in 45 minutes. Two. I don't think they would be quite right for each other. Three. I don't think there's any way we can make it on time, even if we take a taxi. Four. I don't think that table would fit in our living room. Five. I don't think we can complete the project on such a tight budget. Small talk. One. Why don't we get on the highway? I don't think the highway will be any faster. There's always construction going on. Let's stick to these smaller roads. Two. After shopping around, this Mexus car looked like a good option. What do you think, though? I don't think it's the best choice. It doesn't have very good fuel efficiency. Three. I thought maybe we could get rid of our physical stores and move online. I don't think that's such a good idea. About 20% of consumers still do all their shopping offline. Cases in point. I know this isn't easy, and I'm sorry if it hurts, but I don't think we should see each other anymore. I still care about you, and you didn't do anything wrong. I just think it's best to move on. Day 100. Quite를 이용해 말의 강약 조절하기. I'm not quite sure if I'm doing it right. Model examples. One. I'm not quite sure if he is interested in me. Two. I'm not quite sure if I can join you for dinner. Three. I'm not quite sure how to say that in English. Four. I'm not quite sure why she is mad at me. Five. I'm not quite sure when I can get off work. Small talk. One. I was really looking forward to buying those shoes. When will you have them back in stock? Oh, I'm not quite sure when the next shipment is coming in. Two. I know the deadline is coming soon, so I'm not quite sure if we can be done by then. The deadline has already been delayed twice. We can't do it a third time. Three. I need my car this weekend. How soon can you finish the repairs? We need to order a part, so I'm not quite sure if we can finish it by then. Cases in point.
I've been going to the gym for months now, but I'm not quite sure I'm doing it right. Even though I work out every day, I'm not seeing any changes. Maybe I should get personal training so I can make the most of my time.